fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, sir. You influenced many, many uh, huge music stars, uh, Mick Jagger, and of course uh, the Blues Brothers used a lot of your style and influence. How do you feel about that? Uh, do you resent their overwhelming success, or do you? Uh... Well, no, I did. Uh, I did at one time, but right now I wouldn't. I wouldn't swap places with anybody in the world. Yeah, I'm in the greatest position of life I've ever been in my life. I've been born again. I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. I got a ministry. Uh, my wife's back with me. My kids are back with me. I have anything in the world I need besides eternal life. Yeah. So uh, I don't know of anybody past, present, or future that I'd trade places with. I'm but, ecstatic. And I'm just glad that, uh, that I did something that somebody else thought was creative. I wish now that I could influence them into what I know. Now, if, if, you, if you wanted to, you could probably go back uh, entertaining full-time and be a huge star all over again, couldn't you? You, you get that feeling? Well, I don't know. I've been offered some really good contracts. But see, I, I've been called into a ministry. I, I, I go around now. In fact, I was in Lubbock, Texas last night at Brother Carl Koch's church. Uh, I'm going to Vegas when I leave here. In fact, I've got to be on a plane at 7.20 tonight. We're having a revival out there. We're expecting about 30,000 people in one week. Some of the biggest stars in the world that's born again. Some of the biggest ministers and teachers. And uh, that's the reason I enjoy coming here. I don't get to sing that much anymore. Uh -huh. I do mostly Bible teaching and preaching. And we see some incredible miracles. I mean, people heal, come out of, of wheelchairs, things like that. Let me ask you about uh, uh, the working with the Blues Brothers. What exactly, did you work with those guys, or how did you? No. Uh, did you ever meet uh, Belushi and Ackroyd? Yeah, I did. I, went, I, I flew out to L.A. when they did the, the last live album, uh, Paul and him, and I was there with them, and I had a great time. It was a great week. And John Belushi was just, uh, he was warm, he, he was sweet, mm -hmm. he was friendly. He was like a little teddy bear. He yeah. bounced around, you know, and he, just, he was just as nice to me as you could be to anybody. Did you get up on stage with those guys when they were doing the show? Yeah, they got me up on stage. I enjoyed that. Yeah. And uh, what about their singing? How did, how did they uh, handle the blues? I, I thought that, uh, I heard some people say, you know, this, that, the other band's good, but they can't sing that good. But let me tell you something. Accord didn't really try to sing. He played a good harmonica. But John Bellucci sang great. Yeah. You consider the fact he didn't sing that much. You give him another two, three, four years, but he had some good phrasing. And he had, he had rasp in his voice. He sung basically Is that important to have a little rasp in your voice? Well, yeah, you know, you got to sound like you're hurting a little. <laughs> now, how, how, do you, <laughs> how do you get the, the rasp? Uh, is that from hurting a little? Well, yeah, I used to tell... <laughs> from hurting a lot, I used to tell people to tie yourself behind a donkey, let him drag you for about six months across the desert. When you stand up, you can sing the blues. Uh -huh. <laughs> but